Friday, June 28, 2024. First reading. 2 Kings 25 verses 1 to 12. In the tenth month of the ninth year of Zedekiah's reign. On the tenth day of the month. Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, and his whole army. Advanced against Jerusalem, encamped around it. And built siege walls on every side. The siege of the city continued until the eleventh year of Zedekiah. On the ninth day of the fourth month. When famine had gripped the city. And the people had no more bread. The city walls were breached. Then the king and all the soldiers left the city by night. Through the gate between the two walls. That was near the king's garden. Since the Chaldeans had the city surrounded. They went in the direction of the Arabah. But the Chaldean army pursued the king. And overtook him in the desert near Jericho. Abandoned by his whole army. The king was therefore arrested and brought to Riblah. To the king of Babylon, who pronounced sentence on him. He had Zedekiah's sons slain before his eyes. Then he blinded Zedekiah, bound him with fetters. And had him brought to Babylon. On the seventh day of the fifth month. This was in the nineteenth year of Nebuchadnezzar. King of Babylon. Nebuzaradan, captain of the bodyguard. Came to Jerusalem as the representative. Of the king of Babylon. He burned the house of the Lord. The palace of the king, and all the houses of Jerusalem. Every large building was destroyed by fire. Then the Chaldean troops who were with the captain of the guard. Tore down the walls that surrounded Jerusalem. Then Nebuzaradan, captain of the guard. Led into exile the last of the people remaining in the city. And those who had deserted to the king of Babylon. And the last of the artisans. But some of the country's poor, Nebuzaradan, captain of the guard. Left behind as vinedressers and farmers. The Word of God. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm. Let my tongue be silenced, if I ever forget you. Let my tongue be silenced, if I ever forget you. By the streams of Babylon. We sat and wept. When we remembered Zion. On the aspens of that land. We hung up our harps. Let my tongue be silenced, if I ever forget you. Though there are captors asked of us. The lyrics of our songs. And our despoilers urged us to be joyous. Sing for us the songs of Zion. Let my tongue be silenced, if I ever forget you. How could we sing a song of the Lord? In a foreign land. If I forget you, Jerusalem. May my right hand be forgotten. Let my tongue be silenced, if I ever forget you. May my tongue cleave to my palate. If I remember you not. If I place not Jerusalem. Ahead of my joy. Let my tongue be silenced, if I ever forget you. Alleluia, Alleluia. Christ took away our infirmities. And bore our diseases. Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Reading from the Holy Gospel. According to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. When Jesus came down from the mountain, great crowds followed him. And then a leper approached, did him homage, and said, Lord, if you wish, you can make me clean. He stretched out his hand, touched him, and said, I will do it. Be made clean. His leprosy was cleansed immediately. Then Jesus said to him, See that you tell no one. But go show yourself to the priest. And offer the gift that Moses prescribed. That will be proof for them. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise you Lord Jesus Christ.